الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي لحبت في الله continuing on in our sitting for Ramadan one of the manners we want to very briefly talk about is about controlling our anger not becoming angry and and learning to control ourselves when we do become angry because the result of anger ahabbatullah is many many people go to the extent of hurting others even taking the lives of others and this is very prominent this is something very prominent all over the world but especially in the western societies you see uh that the anger and the fury that sometimes people get because they don't control themselves or they feel disrespected it reaches to the level of killing and taking the lives of others an abi urayra radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ana rajala qala li nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam usini usini qal la tadhab faraddir mirarin qal la tadhab ruwahu muslim in this ruwahu bukhari in this hadith in sahih al bukhari the hadith of abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that the messenger who said that a man came to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and said advise me the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said do not become angry and then he mentioned that uh more more than once he he mentioned it repetitively and then he said do not become angry and this is collected in bukhari ahabbat fillah imam ibn rajab rahimallahu ta'ala one of the great aimma and students of shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah he said with regards he said it it has two different meanings he said one of the meanings is that what is meant by not becoming angry is actually a, a command to do those things which necessitate you doing something righteous from good manners so for example from having a uh, good uh being respectful uh understanding and accepting the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not being quick to be angry shyness uh humbleness and so forth and being a person who can control and cease to have do those things which are harmful so this is one of the meanings the other meaning of habbat fillah he mentioned is that what is meant here is to not do uh bad uh deeds or not to 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 act upon that anger to not act upon anger when you get anger and that you should strive within yourself to leave those things uh which you are not which you're commanded to leave and what you're prohibited from and that anger should be uh should be controlled habit to allow we know the consequences so what about when we're fasting we're hungry we're thirsty sometimes we become irritated and tired you know it's the test of, of fasting and that's why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when you're fasting if someone harms you or they speak they curse you they say inni sa'im say that i'm fasting verily i'm fasting because then you're you're taking you're leaving your affairs with your lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and trying to maintain your fast and be away from the harm and the harm harmfulness of harmful beings ahabbati fillah anger and not knowing how to deal with issues according to kitab illah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and having ilm to control that anger can cause detriment to our communities and it does it causes people to kill people it causes people to hate people it causes people to destroy lives of others ahabbat billah safeguard yourself and your family and do not become angry and try to control yourself especially during this holy month wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad